Okay, good evening. How are you? Good night, teacher. How are you? Okay, Anna. It's, how are you? How was your day? I was good teacher. I work all day. Okay, that's good. The opportunity. Yeah. Do you do you like your job, Anna? Yes, I like okay. very much. How long have you worked in the company, Anna? Um, really, is a new job. I was, um, I, I beginning, commence. I began. I began. I began um, 25, February 25. Ah, okay, this year. Yes. Okay. Only six months. No, no. Only four months. No. Yes. Four months. Four months. Okay. Okay. No problem. Yes, teacher. That's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm glad that, uh, like Anna, everybody is here. That's very good. The important is today we're going to get started. We're going to be looking at a couple of things like modal verbs. Okay. Do you know modal verbs? Have you heard the word modal verbs before? Or no? No. Okay, so I think everybody quiet. So remember, modal verbs, the idea of modal verbs is to give different opinions. This is the idea, opinions, suggestions, recommendation. This is the idea of the modal verbs. Do you know any modal verbs? Can. Can, okay. Sure. Uh -huh. Cook. Cook. Excellent. Can, could, should, good. Any others? Must. Must. Great. May. Okay. May. Nice. Mm -hmm. This is the idea. So the idea for modal verbs is all of these are the words that we give when we want to describe something, give our opinion, our suggestion, or our recommendation, okay? So what do we do? The idea for models is ah, my opinion. You should, uh, I should, okay? This is my opinion. Uh, my recommendation that is the should, okay? The abilities can, could, okay, uh, obligations, must, have to. This is the idea for the, you, we use the modal verbs and we use with specific verbs. Today, we are going to learn a little bit about the different modal verbs and how we use them. You guys ready? Yes, ready. Excellent, okay. Let's take a look. Let me share my screen and then we can see a little bit about what are the topics. Jose Isaias, can you please read the objective? Okay, the chair. Uh, participants will practice making requests using models 
can call wool and wool you mine plus gerund. How do you say? Gerunds. Gerunds. Good. So we're going to make the request. We're going to ask questions and we're going to use these models. Okay. These are the models that we're going to use. Can, could, would, and would you mind? In this moment, we're going to learn the difference. What is the difference? Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the garbage here. Okay, sorry. Let me explain a little bit before we continue. If you see, when do we use ing? When is, when is correct to use ing? When we use mine? Correct. Only when we use mine. If we do not use the word mind, it is not correct to use ing. If you see, we have can, could, and would. The difference is can, yeah. informal, could, so, so, and would, formal. So the idea is informal, normal, and formal. This is the three differences. And then would you mind is very formal. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, so it sounds complicated, but it's not. The important is not to get confused and only use the structure. Is can, friends, could, the, and the people that you don't know, and would, more formal, and would you mind, very formal, okay? And then only ask the question. Ah, can you open your book? Can you turn on the TV? Can you, and that's it. All it is, is using this for making requests. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. All right. So in this moment, what we're going to do is we are going to ask the things, imagine in your office. In your office, what do they ask you to do? Your boss, your supervisor, 
the director, the manager, what does he say? As an example, my boss says, hey, can you record the classes? Or would you mind staying for a meeting? Okay. Uh, maybe I need Jose Carlos help. Jose Carlos, can you help me with my English? That's it. This is how you make requests. So in this moment, I want you to put in the chat, in the chat, one with can, one with could, and one with would. Put three, can, could, would, right in the chat, right in the chat. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Three requests, three requests. Can, could, would. Correct, Jose, continue. Can, could, would. Remember, can, could, would. Everyone, everyone, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Give me the example, give me the example. Good, Anna, good, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Can, could, would, let's go, everyone, everyone. Let me see the can, let me see the can. Monica, let's go. Aldini, let me see. Good, good, Stephanie. Brenda, come on, let me see. So, so, Brenda. Can you explain the class? Can you explain the class to me? Change the order. Can you explain the class to me? Good idea. Aldini, what happened? Let's go, Aldini. Ronnie, Ronnie, I don't see you. So, so, Jose, no Spanish. Remember, no, can you turn on? Uh huh. Can you turn on? Turn on the computer. Mm -hmm. Good. Good, Brenda, that's correct, Brenda. Okay, good, Monica, only the spelling. The spelling is one O two M's. Good, can you accompany me, please? Okay, all right, Anna, okay. That only would you like is normally like, for example, Anna, would you like to go to the movies? Would you like to see the movie? Okay, good, Stephanie, good question, good. Correct, Jose Carlos. That is correct. Uh-huh. Good, Jose Isaias. Hey, Aldini, what happened? No one, no one sentence, Aldini. What happened? Uh-huh, Aldini. Ronnie. Ronnie, what happened? I don't see anything, Ronnie. Mm-hmm. Correct, Stephanie. Aldini, what happened? Ronnie, what happened? Uh huh. Okay, good. Good, Brenda. Okay, guys. Now you have the idea. This is correct. Only that I didn't see Ronnie and Aldini. Okay, so remember, Tony and Aldini, practice more. That way we can see. Good, Monica, that is correct. So now, what are we going to do with our partners? We are going to try to complete the exercise. Here, 1.9. In 1.9, we have many requests. And we have to select the correct answer to the request, okay? So with your partner, you read the request and select the correct answer. Okay. Hey, Ronnie, there you go. Can you tell me something? Very good. Good, good. Uh, okay, good, Annalisa. 
All right, very good, Jose Carlos. Only Aldini, no mandó uno Aldini, ni uno mandaste. Okay, all right, guys. So let's go ahead with our partners and let's complete the exercise. 1.9 with our partners, select which is the correct one. You ready? I'm ready. Yes, teacher. All right, let's do it. Let's say six minutes, go.
Okay, guys, let's take a look. Number one, Jose Carlos, number one. Stephanie, number two. Brenda, number three. Jose Isaias, number four. Ronnie, number five. And Ana Garcia, number six. Number one, are you kidding? I don't have any question. Okay, good. Number two. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Okay. Number three. No se preocupe, Brenda. Lo más importante es preguntar antes de pasar ocho minutos sin haberle hecho la, la actividad. So, vamos a hacer, Brenda, ¿cómo estás? Fine. Exacto, eso es todo. Ahí es la pregunta, vas a dar la respuesta. Dice, can you help me to move to my new house? ¿Qué cree que sería la respuesta? Ok. Um... Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Ok. ¿Y qué, ¿Y qué significa esta última palabra? Cash, como algo de pagar o algo así. Que si no okay. tenía dinero o algo así. Ah, ok. Ok, muy bien. Cash es dinero. Exacto. Cash es dinero. Entonces, es buena la idea, pero can you help me to move? No pega la respuesta de dinero con que ayudar a, a mudar a una casa. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry, I will do it right away. Ok, posible, posible. Let's find out. Thank you, Brenda. Very good. All right, number four. Number four, would you mind not sitting here? Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Okay, good. Number five. Ronnie, you are number five, right? Uh, I, I think I'm number four. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am sorry, I will do it right away. Okay, all right. And what is number six? Okay, teacher number six. Would you mind not talking so loudly? Well, sorry, we'll talk more quickly. Good pronunciation, quietly. Quietly, thank okay. you, teacher. Quietly. Well, good. All right, let's take a look. Hey, number six, we have correct. Number five is correct. Look, number four is correct. Ah, but here, number three is not correct. Number three is, sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Number two is correct. And number one was correct. Okay. It's okay, all of the sentences. Are there any expressions or vocabulary you don't understand? No, it's okay. Uh, yeah, what is it, teacher? Okay. What is kidding? Kidding? Are you kidding? Ah, here. Kidding. Are, are you kidding? Is uh -huh. are you joking? Are you serious? Okay. This is the idea. Are you kidding? Is uh, are you serious? 
Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. It's ok? The others are ok? Yes. Yes? Any questions? No. Ok. Ok. Perfect. Ok. No problem. Ok. Brenda, que le usar tu teléfono. No vas a preguntar. Go. Brenda. No. No, Brenda. Ajá, uh -huh. no, Brenda. I don't know what happened with Brenda. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes, Brenda. Yes, Brenda. Diga, diga. Ok, Brenda. ¿Me escuchas? Sí, sí. Okay, Ahorita perfecto. sí. Excelente, Brenda. ¿Quieres usar mi teléfono? Pregúntame. Uh, you use my phone? No. Remember, estamos viendo los modos. Can, would, would, would you mind? ¿Cómo me vas a preguntar? Would you like to use my phone? So, 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 so. Ahí me estás ofreciendo, no estás pidiendo. Ok. 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 Porque, ok, quieres usar mi teléfono, no me estás ofreciendo el teléfono. Va a ser, ah, can I use your phone? Ah, your phone. Ah, que sí, yo. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. uh, yeah, yes, yes. Ok, no problem, bro, no problem. All right. Analyze it. Analyze it. Ok. ¿Quieres que te dé un ride para multiplaza? Un ride. Eh, ride. Tranquila, analice. Ride es en inglés, no en español. Solo que lo decimos en español. <risa> pero ride en inglés. Es que ride es en inglés, pero en español no, right. no tenemos. Ajá. Por un eso aventón. Un aventón. Ride. Un aventón. <risa> Ajá. Ride? No. Uh, okay. Um, could you uh, give me a ride uh, to San Salvador? Excellent, excellent analyst said. Okay. Jose Carlos, ¿quiere que te, eh, que te prepare una lasaña? ¿Cómo me va a preguntar? Uh, can you uh, preparar? I don't know. Excellent. Ya te dieron la respuesta. Make. Uh -huh. Can you make me a uh, lasagna? Exactly. Yeah. Very good, Jose. Very yeah. good. All right. Monica Quintanilla. Okay. Quiere que te preste mi carro. Mónica. Can you to learn your car? Mo, más o menos, más o menos. Es, can you lend me your car? Can you? Lend. La palabra es lend me. Lend. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, one more, one more. Interpret, sorry. Yes. Can you? Uh, it uh, is. Can you lend me your car? Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay, good. All right. Now, ahora, todas las que están haciendo sus preguntas están correctos. ¿Qué es la diferencia? La diferencia es el tipo de pregunta. Una cosa pequeña, por ejemplo, un lápiz, vas a decir can. Pero imagínate, 
vas a, si quieres prestar eh, 50 dólares, si quieres que eh, alguien te preste el carro, que, si quieres que alguien te dé dinero, no vas a usar lo mismo que han, ¿verdad? Yo, no vamos a decir, hey, José, préstame 50. Que, lo mismo que, José, préstame tu carro. Ah, eso es lo mismo con el inglés, con los modal verbs. Can, could, would, would you mind? Es esa diferencia de situación. Cosas pequeñas, hey, un lápiz. Can I borrow your pencil? Can you lend me your pencil? Pero ya como ya estamos hablando de dinero, eh, ya estamos, hey, ayúdame a conseguir un empleo. Oh, would you, dame una recomendación para poder tener, ah, ahí es donde van cambiando las cosas. Gramáticamente. El right? Ajá. También right. Right, yo lo pusiera en medio, porque no es tan informal ni tan grande. Ahora, si está pidiendo un right de un aventón de aquí a, a San Miguel <risa> o, o una distancia, entonces, sí, would you mind? O sea, ya es, sube el nivel code. Ya, ya, ya nivel, ajá, exacto, ya es otro nivel, pero eso es lo que quiero que entiendan, todas, todas las preguntas son you, correctas. Teacher, uh -huh. your mind is more polite? Yes, it's more polite and formal, it's for uh -huh. normally something big, it's, it's like in Spanish, it's like in Spanish when you say, eh, no sé si ten, tal vez podés, Um, eh, pues, that's the idea would you mind eh, va con ese estilo de que no le vas a preguntar directo quiero mil dólares sino que mira no sé si estás en la posibilidad de si puedes ayudarme en este momento necesitas a eso se usa would you mind ok mm -hmm. thank you you're welcome it's okay the difference yeah Yeah. Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Ok, así que gramáticamente todos están bien, pero acuérdense la diferencia de situación. That's the important, yeah. the situation. Ok, great. Now let's go for the reading activity. You ready? Ok. Ok, so now we are going to read the context for specific information. Ok. Let's have the reading. Here is neighbor versus neighbor. The pronunciation, <laughs> neighbor. 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 Okay. Monica Quintanilla is going to begin. Then Aldini, then Brenda, then Jose Isaías, Ana Garcia. Este párrafo de aquí. Okay, Ana Garcia. Okay, teacher. Excellent. What part? Okay, so one more time. Monica, da oh, okay. to midnight. Aldini, da to yard. Brenda, da to driveway. Jose Isaías, half to me. Ana Garcia, these to deliberately. Okay, good. Okay, Monica. Monica? Yes, the woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. Mm -hmm. I, my family across the street never clean up their yard. The garbage brown into your yard. Okay. The guy next door always parks his car in front of your driveway. Mm -hmm. Have things like this ever happened to you? If so, you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they doing these things to me? These days, many people don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly way or say hello, 
but a lot of people don't even know their neighbors' names. When you don't know someone, it's easy to build up frustration and resentment. You think maybe they like to annoy me, or maybe they do it deliberately. Good, deliberately. Deliberately. Okay. Good, thank you. Let's continue, let's see. Okay, we have more students or no? No. No, only Monica? Uh-huh. Hey, the other disappeared. Yes. I don't know what happened. Maybe bad internet. Okay. All right, Monica, continue. Believe to first. Jose Carlos, from when to it. <laughs> Ana Lisette, from. Believe it. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Believe it or not, your neighbors probably don't mean to write you. Often they don't even know that they're getting on your nerves. So before you take extreme measures to fix the problem, you show this discuss it with the fears them fears okay good thank you when you approach your neighbors you should talk to them in a friendly manner compliment their children or do some something else to make them feel good then explain the situation and if you can think of the simple solution suggest suggest it mm -hmm. thank you uh, analyze it if mm -hmm. if talking doesn't work ask another person to help this person can listen to both sides on the story and help you and your network resolve the situation. Finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem. Depending on the issue, it means the best to just stay out of your network away. Okay, thank you very much. Now, first, before we continue, are there any vocabulary, any words you don't know? Isue. Repeat. No sé si es Isue o Isue, depending on the Isue. Depending of the issue. Depending of the issue. Here. Issue is depending the situation. Situation. Is synonym like situation. Mm -hmm. Depending okay. on the issue. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other vocabulary? Approach. Approach is go to. So if you are going to approach your neighbor, you are going to go close to your neighbor. So here, when you approach your neighbor is when you confront your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, yes. What is the pronunciation? Uh, my night or how do you say? It? Mm, 
in the first paragraph. Man, uh, man, midnight. What? Here is midnight. Okay, midnight. Mm -hmm. This is 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock at night. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. but okay. I, I don't know the, the pronunciation. Okay, midnight. Midnight, thank you. You're welcome. Any other vocabulary? Yes, it's at time. With a it is easy to build of session with to build. Build. Right here. It's easy yeah. to build. Yeah. Build, build is the action for construct. When you construct, you build. Like ah. the building. That's why the building, the name. Ah, okay. The action, build. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher and resentment. Ah, it's like in Spanish. When you are, mm, you, you are angry, you are mad with the person. It's like in Spanish, resentment. It's like a feel. It's like the emotion, correct. It's the feeling. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. thank you. You're welcome. It's annoying. Uh, annoying is something that bothers you. Annoying. Okay, okay. Suddenly, friendly wave. Suddenly is quickly. Avoid, teacher. Uh, avoid. Avoid is not confront. Contrary to approach. Correct. Is good. Is the antonym approach? Approach the antonym avoid. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, with your partners, you are going to go to 1.11. Here you have the story. But now, with your partner, you have to discuss and identify the meaning of all of the vocabulary in the text. So with your partner, what is the, un, what is the meaning? Resentment, deliberately, irritate, measure, manner, resolve, okay? So if you need, it's okay. If you want to, one more time. The first activity is with your partner, read again. Okay, this is number one, read again. Number two, look the vocabulary and select the meaning for the vocabulary. What is the different meanings? Yes? Yes. Okay, let's go with our partners.
Okay, Ronnie, are you ready? Ronnie, number one. Is, uh, and a problem of difficult, difficult. Yeah. And the problem or, or difficulty. Yeah. Okay. No problem, Ronnie. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We okay. check. It's okay. Jose, Jose Carlos, number two. And. I think is um bother or annoy. Okay. Cool. Brenda, what about number three? Okay. Brenda, I how was bother or or annoy? Okay, or annoying. Okay, number four, Jose Isaias. Make sure uh, a step taken in order to achieve uh, something. Okay, all right. Number five, uh, Monica. Okay, Monica, no. Aldini, number five. Men, men, yeah. men there are a way of behaving. Okay, good. And Stephanie, number six. Is a problem um, and a problem or difficult. And a problem or difficult. Okay. Good idea. Most of the answers are correct. Resolve is correct. Is and a problem. Manner is correct. Is the way of behaving. Okay. Measure is correct. A state a step taken in order to achieve something. Irritate is correct, bother or annoy. Here, deliberately is not correct. Is not bother or annoy. Deliberately is on purpose. Deliberately means this, on purpose. Okay. Resentment is not correct. Resentment means anger that grows over time. That means bigger and bigger, the anger. Okay. It's okay? Okay. It's okay. Good. Any questions? Perfect. Okay, excellent. So if you can see, today we finish unit one. Unit one complete, complete. Today is models and the reading. Remember the models is correct. Can you, could you, would you, would you mind is correct. The difference is informal, so, so formal, and then most formal. The informal can, so, so, could, more, would. And the most formal, would you mind? Okay. Okay. Remember, always the verb, okay? We always use the verb with present. Only mind 
the verb ing. So it's correct. Can you, can you lend me your pencil? Could you lend me your pencil? Would you lend me your pencil? Okay. Would you mind lending, lending, ing, your pencil? Always with, would you mind, ing. Okay, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, at this moment, any questions? Uh, any, no? No, that's fine, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, great. So- All clear, teacher. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you so much for coming okay. to class. Tomorrow okay. we continue, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank Thank you guys. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Yes, Monica. Hi, hi teacher. I have a question, sorry. No, no, it's okay. Bueno, el día de ayer no pude, el día de ayer no pude conectarme, pero creo que ayer iniciaba la, el curso. Mm -hmm. y, no sé si de pronto me, me podría indicar como algunas generalidades que tal vez de pronto me sí. perdí. No hay problema, Mónica. En este momento comparto la pantalla. Ok. En general, el curso tiene cinco secciones. Tiene del 1 al 5 que nosotros vamos a completar. Después de la unidad 3, de la sección 3, que es la otra semana, hay un examen. Ese examen es de la unidad 1, 2 y 3. Al finalizar el curso, a la última semana de clases, vamos a terminar la sección 5. Pero el examen de esa unidad no es solo 4 y 5 sino que va a ser el examen de la unidad 1, 2, 3, 4 y 5. Para pasar de nivel es necesario sacar una nota de 80 o más. Para ver tus notas y tu progreso, solo le haces clic en la parte de progreso y allí puedes ver todas las notas y todas las tareas que vas al día. Allí puedes ver por sección o por tareas específicas. Y te ahí puedes decir... Como puedes ver aquí, hay un pequeño rótulo con una línea. Significa que tiene que estar en la línea o arriba de la línea para estar seguro que vas a pasar. Si hay una actividad donde sacaste mala nota, en la plataforma te permite hacerlo de nuevo para subir de nota. No es necesario solo aceptar la mala nota, sino que puedes repasar y hacer nuevamente el ejercicio. No sé si eh, hay alguna pregunta o duda hasta el momento. Sí, entonces todas las actividades las puedo repetir una vez más. Sí. Por sí. si tuviesen una mala nota o quisiera mejorar. Okay. Exacto. Sí. Y las notas son todas las actividades que llevan este chequecito. Como que si fuera un cuadernillo. Se llama mm -hmm. Knowledge Check. Pero son el sí. símbolo con un cuaderno y un lápiz. Y las que llevan esa de allí son las que son obligación porque esas son tus notas que van a aparecer en la, en la plataforma. De igual forma, la plataforma te permite adelantar. O si vos dices, ah, ok, tengo tiempo hoy, quiero adelantarme. Te permite poder adelantarte en, y ir hasta donde tú quieras. Ok. Ok. Eh, eh, sí, entiendo que mandaron un enlace para el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ese es de la sección. Sí, correcto. Hay un, hay un enlace en tu okay. correo y ese es precisamente en el grupo que estamos todos, del, de este nivel. De acuerdo. Muchas gracias, teacher. Gracias, Mónica. Ah, buenas noches. Adiós. Buenas Adiós. noches, igual. Gracias. Ana o José, ¿tenían alguna duda o pregunta? No, teacher, thank you. No, no nos quedamos oyendo. 
está bien, ¿no? Uno ay, nunca sabe. Ay. A veces uno tiene la es misma duda sí. y dice, ay, o no se le ocurrió y uno dice, ay, quiero saber. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, eso fue. Gracias. Okay. Good night. Good night.